Hello and welcome back to your Pennsylvania Dutch Minute. I was looking through my archives to see, and I'm always thinking about, did I do a video on this or did I do a video on this already? Because we've been doing this now for over quite a number of years and I forget what I covered and what I didn't cover. And this idea came to mind about doing musical instruments, giving you words associated with musical instruments. I thought, oh, I definitely must have done that before. And then I searched and son of a gun, I don't know how I let this one slip by being a musician myself. Um, I couldn't find one. So we're going to rectify that right now. And we're going to give you a list of, I took the most common musical instruments I could think of. Um, and you know, the Pennsylvania Dutch are musical people. So um, whether we're barn dancing or just having a hoot nanny style get together, we like to sing and play music. So, uh, and I know that some of you out there probably are musicians too. So this list isn't a complete list of every instrument available. And if I missed one, or if I missed an instrument that you play, put it in the comment section down below, and then I'll give you the Pennsylvania Dutch word for it in the comment section. But this is a list of what I consider the most common, I guess, instruments out there. So I'll give you the Pennsylvania Dutch, of course, the English is there with it. Say them once, say them twice, you'll get to learn it, and then we'll move on. How's that sound? Let's get going. So the word for instrument, uh, I've given you the singular and the plural here. One instrument is s instrument, s instrument. And if you were gonna say instruments, plural, then it'd be d instrumenta. D instrumenta. Okay. Guitar. D guitar. D guitar. Violin. D geik. D geik. Banjo. D banjo. D banjo. A bass. Da bass. Da Bass. For piano, there's two words that I'm familiar with. There's di glapa box, di glapa box, or s glafia, s glafia. Organ, di aril, di aril. Harmonica, di maul aril, di maul aril, or literally mouth organ, which is what it was called, called in English at one point too, or could be called that in English. For the word drum, I found, I found there's two words that I'm familiar with. There's di drum, di drum, and es schlachting, es schlachting. I like the second word better because it literally means thing you hit, which is a drum, right? <laughs> the next is our, uh, could we say our national or cultural instrument, and that's di bumba, di bumba. Now, if you don't know what a bumba is, then you're missing out on a part of life. Uh, but for real quick, for what a bumba is, and maybe you've seen these before, it's essentially a broomstick handle, uh, and then attached to that are various things, a tambourine, maybe some bells, uh, a cymbal up on top, um, and people hang all different things off it, and then you can, you can hit it with a drumstick and play it that way, or you can stomp it, and that makes the bells and the cymbals go, and it's, it's just a noise maker. Uh, but it uh, was very common among the Pennsylvania Dutch at one point in our history. Trumpet, di trombet, di trombet, trombone, di posauna, di posauna. It could be pronounced a couple different ways, uh, di posauna or di posauna. Either one is acceptable. Flute, di flayed, di flayed, clarinet, di clarinet, di clarinet. Then finally, the only instrument created by whatever you believe created us, the voice, which is an instrument, 100%, die Stimm. Die Stimm. So there you go. As I said, not a complete list of all the instruments that are out there, but a list that I thought was good enough. There's quite a lot of words there for you to start memorizing and start using. If you play one of those instruments, now, from now on, use the Pennsylvania Dutch word for the instrument. Or if you want to go learn an instrument, now you know the Pennsylvania Dutch word for it. Now I'm not going to give a shout. I'm going to give a shout out to a place in Berks County that uh, I have given a lot of business to over the years. They are not an official sponsor of the YouTube channel, although if they want to be, just let me know. And that's Meadowwood Music in Maiden Creek Township there between uh, Leesport and Fleetwood, right on 222 going out towards Kutztown. Meadowwood Music is uh, a music shop that deals specifically with stringed instruments. However, um, 
you know, there are other things available, and they give lessons to guitars, banjos, mandolins, violins, dulcimers. That's a word I didn't give you. We'll have to add that one to the list down below. Um, so check out Metawood Music if you're into stringed instruments or if you're thinking about getting into stringed instruments. And they also do repairs, and they have a store there with, uh, you know, you can get strings and other things, too, for your instruments. Um, so I want to give them a shout-out. Good people uh, at Metawood Music. They are good. Um, they're in an old Pennsylvania Dutch farmhouse. So it's worth a stop just to see their shop. So give Meadowwood Music, Meadowwood Music a, a look. You can also, I'll link them to the web, their website down below in the comments. If you have an idea for a future video, you got to email me. Please let me, please let me know. Also, um, support the channel. Buy me a coffee. There's a link down below for that. And I'm still looking for people to send me videos saying, hey, this is so-and-so from such-and-such -such place. S is Zeit für Deutsch. You send me that video, do it with your cell phone and send it in an email, and I'll put that at the beginning of a future Pennsylvania Dutch Minute or one of the other videos on my channel here. Till next time, keep practicing Pennsylvania Dutch, and Max gut! Max gut!